Guidelines of the use of personal protective equipment PPE against chemical hazards Why? To comply with the requirements of OSHA Regulation 2000 The regulation obeys these acts stated Permissible exposure limits of respirator according to the regulation is determined by the hazard ratio Main objective of PPE is to prevent contact between the hazards and the human body the table shows the risk associated with the hazards chemicals. PPE to be approved must achieve certain criteria as mentioned in the regulation. For each approved PPE, they have their own requirements for selection, usage, and maintenance. For instance, PPE for head must be checked and damaged regularly. Use eyes protection only when there is a risk. To select a reservoir, the toxicity and concentration of chemicals must be measured. Make sure to use a perfect fit gloves. If there is any damage on the suit, it must be repaired or discarded. The selection of legs and feet protection are based on hazards. A PPE program is required to ensure the PPE to be effective as a control measure. The program consists all of these elements. Medical evaluation, suitability, assessment of the risk and consultation with suppliers should be done during the selection of PPE. When supplying certain factors need to be followed such as industry practice. Before using PPE training should be conducted in two stages which is induction training and job training. Adequate instruction, training, and supervision is needed to prevent prolonged use and risk to wear it. All PPE must be inspected, stored, made available, and maintained properly. How do we dispose for contaminated PPE? Disposal must not be pose a hazard. Disposal should be packed and labeled, and use the suitable PPE to handle. A record of PPE must be kept for future reference. Then, review the program, but Worker cooperation is crucial. Thank you for watching and stay safe.